Okay, so let's chat. It's been a minute, but I want to make the case for starting off your career as more of a jack of all trades instead of trying to narrow down and find your niche right away. Now, this is going to be a big hear me out because some people, not everyone by any means, but some people have an idea of what they want their life and their career to look like. I know I did. And I thought <laughs> that I would be in originally audit for accounting. If you didn't know, I'm an accountant. So originally I thought I was going to be an audit. I thought I loved to meet new people and see new places and do new things. And then I did a rotation in tax and I ended up really enjoying what I was doing in tax because it ended up being the best parts of audit with a new skill set, which was tax. And I was learning a lot and it was just interesting to me. And I had a set place to be and I still got to travel from time to time to different clients. But nonetheless, it was kind of nice to have a home base. Why this is important is because I thought in the beginning my work life would look one way and that started out in audit and ended up moving into tax. And now here I am on my own <laughs> in my own private solo practice doing something completely different than what I was doing, which was corporate tax just a little over a year, a little over a year and a half now ago. Now, this is important to note because when I started out in public accounting, I started at a large mid-sized firm. And what happened was I was kind of pushed around into different areas of tax. And at first I honestly dreaded it. I thought it was absolutely ridiculous how I could be placed on any client doing any kind of work with any group of people. I mean, you just never know. But now in hindsight, I am so, so, so grateful for it because it's where I got some experience in individual tax. I got experience, thank goodness, not with partnerships, but with a little tiny, easy bit with international tax and just various different branches of tax. And had I not had that experience, I wouldn't have even thought today that I could branch out on my own and do individual tax. Now, would I have changed things and maybe switched? Probably not, because at that time, the individual tax section just wasn't doing very well. It was called private wealth services, or there was another name for it after a while. But I wouldn't change a thing, but I, would, I wish I would have done another rotation in advisory. And why? Because when you're young, you know, when you're in your early 20s or even late teens, if you go to college right out of high school, you have to make a major decision at some point in those four or five plus years that you'll be in college on what your major is going to be. And that's a little bit daunting and I get that, but you have to do it in order to graduate. So you do that and then you just start working right away in most cases and you never really have the time or make the time to experience different things. And I think you should. And I think you should because this is a learn from my mistake. I wish I did. I wish I did because there are so many things that I would have done, just period, <laughs> honestly. Like I would have maybe gotten an internship in a completely different field and possibly even changed my major when I was still in school. Who knows? But. I think that you, if you are in a position to jump around a little bit or have the time to get your feet wet in other areas, should kind of consider yourself a jack of all trades and master of none until you find that one thing that really speaks to you. Because even now, as much as I enjoy and I love helping people and doing individual tax, I don't know if it's going to be my forever thing. I'll be honest with you, I don't. And I don't think that all of that burden should be placed on you to know what your forever thing is at any age. Because if you speak to somebody who is at least 10 years your senior, you might find out that they had several iterations of their life and work life and just things that they were doing that completely contradict the way you may know them now. 
And that's a beautiful thing. And I think it's awesome. And I think it's a, a lifestyle and a mindset that we should embrace a little bit more is <laughs> the ambiguity of it all, not knowing exactly what you're going to do. And that's okay because honestly, in order to know what you're going to do, you kind of have to experience different things anyway. So that's my mistake to learn from today is to start doing a bunch of things. Don't be afraid to fail if you have a cushion. <laughs> if you have a cushion being emotional support, financial support, and that can come from you personally or that can come from external sources like friends and family. But make sure you have a cushion if you are kind of out there on your own. If you're still at home or if you still have a ton of people that you can rely on, you can do it a little bit more freely and try tons of different careers, try tons of different majors, try tons of different elective courses if you really don't know where you wanna go. And as you go through life and your career, have this mindset of, and I wish I had it when I was younger, this is not permanent. <laughs> and I think once you take away the permanence of it, it's a little bit less scary and not to say that you're just gonna drop the ball left and right, but you know, you'll give yourself a little bit more grace <laughs> because I know I am the queen of being tough on myself when nobody else is and nobody has asked certain things of me. And you might be that way too, if you're watching this channel, maybe we're similar, but jack of all trades, master of none, until you find that one or two or three things that really light a fire under your butt and make you want to do them even more and then you can start to niche down or you can start to really hone in on that interesting that driving that you know thing that just speaks to you <laughs> so that's my mistake of the day that you can learn from just have an open mindset and really be willing to try different things because had i been a little bit more willing back then maybe I wouldn't even be doing this. Maybe I would have found a different area of tax. Maybe I would have gone back to audit. Who knows? So keep an open mind so that you can get the best out of this life because we all only have one. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you already hit stop? Are you still here? Great. So if you want to learn from some more of my mistakes, you can click on the video here or this video here. Or if you are not subscribed yet, you can subscribe to the channel right here, somewhere here in the middle. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.